Hey everybody, this is a tutorial for how to build the cumulated cuboctahedron. And this is actually a tutorial for all three versions of that that I've done. The type A, the type B, and the fully cumulated cuboctahedron. So the first thing you need is a cuboctahedron. And I have that here, and I have a video tutorial for that. So I'll post a link, and you can go look at that and see how I made this. This is exactly the same as the one that I made in that video. Um, now, if you're just going to do the type A cumulated cuboctahedron, all you need are eight of these pieces here. The way you make those is you take uh, six stacked rings of ten magnets, cut them up into three stacks of two rings, flatten them out into long straight pieces, and then you attach them together on the ends like that, bend them around until they touch, and that's it. That's how you make those pieces. And again, if you're doing the type A, all you need is the cuboctahedron and eight of those. Now if you're doing the type B, you need the cuboctahedron and six of these. Um, and the way you make those is you start off with a long straight piece that's made from two, stract, two, two stacked rings of 30 magnets and two straight pieces that are made from stacked rings of 14 magnets. Just like that. And you want to take a chain and remove the middle two magnets here. just like that. And you want to take uh, one of the point magnets off on each of these shorter straight pieces, just like that. Then you want to take this one and you kind of let it hang like this. And you take this and you attach it right there, just like that. Do the same thing to the other side. Then you take your chain and you add one magnet in each of these corners here. Just like the way that one is there. And you do that to all four corners. And then you take four more magnets and make a little square out of them and add them down on top of those four magnets just like that. And that's all you have to do to make these pieces. And again, if you're doing the type B cumulated cuboctahedron, you need six of those. If you're doing the type A, you just need the eight of these. And if you're going to do the fully cumulated cuboctahedron, you would need everything on the table. So, I guess I'll start out with the type A. Um, what you do is you take these, and you add them in, just like that, on the triangular faces. Just like that. And you go ahead and do that to all eight triangular faces. Okay, and that's how you build the type A cumulated cuboctahedron. That is all there is to it. Um, now, if you want to build the type B, you would skip that part and just go straight to these. Or, if you wanted to build the fully cumulated cuboctahedron, you would do that and then move on to here. But either way, you uh, take these and you basically do the same thing that you just did with these ones. Except you're doing it on the square faces now. And you put those in just like that. And you make sure the edges go down on all four corners. And you want to be a little bit careful with these ones because they have a kind of annoying tendency to kind of bend off to the side at the point of attachment, but um, it's really not too bad. You just want to be a little bit careful with them. But you go ahead and add all six of those on.
Uh, one quick note before you put the last one on. If you are building the fully cumulated suboctahedron, that is. If you're building just the uh, type B, then this is not an issue. But if you're going to build the fully cumulated cuboctahedron, then it's going to sit uh, right down on this, which has kind of become a flat face at this point. The problem is, is you will see, it's kind of hard to tell with the camera, but there are four magnets right there that kind of stick out of the top. And if you want it to be able to sit down flat, you have to take a chain and take those four off. And now there's a flat face that you can put it on. And then you just add the last one on it. And there you go. This is the fully cumulated cube octahedron, but now you've seen how to build all three versions. So I guess I'll go ahead and smash it now.